Let's see how to calculate square root using division method. Let's learn with an example. Consider 1024. Suppose we want to calculate square root of 1024. Then let's see how we use this division method. We consider 1024 for division. The first step is to pair the numbers from the right hand side and you place a bar over every pair. So in this case, the first pair is 24 and the second pair is 10 because we start pairing from the right hand side. The next step is to take the leftmost pair for division. So in this case, we take 10 and we start dividing it. But the division here is little different. What we do is we find the largest square number which is smaller than 10. Now what is the largest square number which is smaller than 10 here? 9. 3 threes are 9. That means we divide 10 by 3 and we get the answer 3. So the divisor 3 I have written on the left hand side and I have written the answer 3 on the top. So you say 3 threes are 9 and you subtract 9 from 10 so the remainder is 1. Now you bring down the next pair which is 24 and the next step is you look at the previous divisor. What was the previous divisor? 3. You double that and then you put a blank next to it. That means in this case we are going to double 3 which is 6 and now you have a blank next to it. Now this is a very important step. This step is to guess the digit. Which digit are we going to guess? The digit that goes in that blank that's the digit we are going to guess. What kind of digit are we looking for here? Let's take an example. Suppose the digit is 1. Then the divisor will be 61. If you multiply 61 by 1, is it closer to 124? No. That means 1 is not a good digit. Let's consider 2. If I put 2 in the blank, the divisor will be 62. If I multiply 62 by 2, what do I get? 62 multiplied by 2 gives me 124. Because 60 are 120 and 2 twos are 4. So 62 multiplied by 2 gives me 124. So 2 is the right choice. That means I can write 2 in the blank and I can also write 2 in the quotient. So 62 twos are 124. And 124 minus 124 gives me 0. So the remainder is 0. When I guess the digit, what do I really look for? I look for a digit such that when I place the digit in the blank, whatever number I get, if I multiply that number by that digit, do I get the dividend? That's what I'm looking for. Let's go over the steps again. The first step is that you place a bar over every pair. You start from the right hand side. So the first pair is 24, the second pair is 10. Then consider the leftmost pair first, which is 10. Look for the largest square number, which is smaller than 10. So 3 threes are 9. We divided 10 by 3. And 10 minus 9 gives you 1. So 1 is the remainder. Then we bring down the next pair, which is 24. So you get 124. Again, look at the first divisor, which was 3. Double that 3, so you get 6. Put a blank next to it and guess the digit. The digit should be such that when you put it there, whatever divisor you get, you multiply that divisor by that digit to get the dividend. In this case, 2 was the right choice because 62 multiplied by 2 gives you 124. So 62 multiplied by 2 gives 124. 124 minus 124 gives 0. So the remainder is 0. That means the square root of 
1024 is 32. Let's take one more example. Square root of 729. Again, consider the number 729 for division. Start pairing the digits and start it from the right hand side. So the first pair is 29. The second bar is there only for one digit because we have odd number of digits and that is okay. You can have the group of only one digit. Now consider 7 for division. Find the largest square that is smaller than 7. In this case it is 4 because 2 twos are 4. So you divide 7 by 2. The quotient is 2. 2 twos are 4. Subtract 4 from 7. So the remainder is 3. Now take the second pair which is 29. So now your dividend is 329. Your first divisor was 2. So double it and put a blank next to it. So now you get 4 and a blank. Now the important part is to guess the digit. Suppose you consider 1. Then we have to say 41 multiplied by 1. Is that closer to 329? No. 42 multiplied by 2 will be 84. 84 is also not closer to 329. 43 multiplied by 3 that gives 129 that is also not closer. You keep on calculating and you will see that 47 multiplied by 7 gives you 329. You will have to do these calculations on the side to check which digit is the best choice here? So the answer here is 27. That means the square root of 729 is 27. If you want to do more practice, here is another example. Let's calculate the square root of 9409. The first step is to place a bar from the right hand side and make pairs. So the first pair is 0, 09 and the second one is 94. Consider the leftmost pair first and look for the largest square number. We know 9 9s are 81 so divide by 9 and uh, 9 is the quotient as well as the divisor. When you divide by 9 you get 81. 94 minus 81 the remainder is 13. Bring down the next pair which is 0, 9. So now you have 1309. Look at the previous divisor. It is 9. Double it and put a blank. So you have 1, 8 and blank. Now look for the right digit. Guess the digit. 181 multiplied by 1 won't work. 182 multiplied by 2 won't work. You can do some calculations and keep working on it and you will see that 187 multiplied by 7 gives you 1309. Subtract 1309 from 1309. The remainder is 0 so you can stop. That means the square root of 9409 is 97.